members of the Canadian military. They are, are explosive for... comments. Isn't this the perfect time to invade this ridiculous country? They have no army. A panel on Fox News sneering at Canada's war. military. The Canadian military wants to take a breather, to do some yoga, paint landscapes, run on the beach in gorgeous white capri pants. The smack took aim at Army boss Lieutenant General Andrew Leslie, who told a Commons Committee two weeks ago that soldiers will need a year-long break after 2011. As regards to personal comments against me, if our young men and women are willing to fight for their country, I'm willing to get slandered for them. It is so ignorant and outrageous and offensive to people. The Defence Minister blasted Fox. It's crass, it comes at a completely uh, inappropriate time where we're receiving home uh, four fallen heroes. Uh, there should be an apology to their families. The comments have disgusted Canadians across the country, especially military families. And all this is happening on a day of deep sorrow and pride as people line this, the highway of heroes, where the hearses will pass with the remains of the Canadian soldiers who served alongside their NATO partners. They're nothing but ignoramuses, you know. They have no concept. I think it's pretty insensitive of the, of the Americans to say something like that. We would never, ever say anything like that about theirs. In a statement, the host of Red Eye, Greg Gutfeld, said the show was in no way an attempt to make light of troop efforts and that it was not my intent to disrespect the brave men, women and families of the Canadian military. And for that, I apologize. But the show has already caused a backlash for a comic on the panel. Evildoers are saying thanks for the heads up on that year thing, Canada. <laughs> a show he scheduled in Edmonton has been cancelled. I think, you know, they should be glad that we're there to help the Americans out. And I think they should be very grateful to us for making a huge sacrifice. Scott Laurie, CTV News, Toronto.